have to be a little bit to Lulu if you want to be that lucky girl. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. There's something so beautiful about God's timing. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go look at couches today for my apartment that I don't have right now. We gotta fake it sometimes till we make it within reason. Okay, you guys welcome back. I don't think I've officially popped on to say good morning or even hello But my name is Kayla Lachey and today we are getting into Basically, I don't even know how to call this It's my manifestation routine things and habits that I implement into my day-to-day -day life And I try to be more mindful in my daily life to attract abundance and my desires and my dreams and actually receive them in this reality so i guess this is going to be like how to become her or how to become that lucky girl that gets everything that she wants because baby when i tell you the power of your mind and your thoughts and what you speak is extremely transformative like good or bad baby you gotta watch what you say and i'm definitely being more aware of things that i say because i don't want things to come to life that i don't really mean them to but we're just gonna go ahead and get ready for the day today i think there's so much importance in feeling good and doing things that make you feel your most confident and for me that's like putting myself together with my hairstyle doing my makeup putting on a really cute outfit when you feel good you raise your vibration so that you're on that same alignment with the things that you want to attract so i definitely encourage you girls to do little things in your routines some self-care just taking a little extra 15 minutes to get ready for the day or pick out a really cute outfit that you feel good in and it's going to make a difference in the way that your day goes guess what we're going to do 
we're gonna go look at couches today because that's just what I wanted to do. I am that lucky girl. I want to get a couch this year for my apartment that I don't have right now. So what better way than to go look at couches that I've been looking at online, but go look at them in real life. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. I just need to get ready for the day first. The store that I want to go to isn't that far from me and it opens up I think at 10 a.m. So I have some work stuff that I need to get done before I head out and that's gonna kind of be like my reward I guess you could say for today. My fun, a part of my manifestation routine. So like I said I'll get into that when we get into it. But I do want to focus on like I said, my habits and the things that have really helped me accomplish those things that I've always dreamt of. I've dreamt of being where I'm at right now. I just didn't know that it was going to take all that it took to get where I'm at. I didn't know a whole lot of things until I actually started to get into a routine and changing my mindset and changing the habits and completely just changing everything that I was doing because I was stuck in a position that I didn't want to be in and I didn't know how to get out of that I knew I always wanted better for myself I wanted all these other things I wanted you know booty crack length hair I wanted to get BBL allegations because I'm in the gym all the time okay I wanted to get my finances together so I could get out of debt I want to get an apartment right like these are all the things that I want and I'm working towards them but at one place in time I didn't know how I was going to grow my hair out baby I did a big chop if y'all remember my hair was like not even down to my eyebrows but somehow some way we have done the work to get where we want to be I wanted to gain some weight because I was super freaking skinny I was uncomfortable in my own body right but somehow some way I managed to gain like 27 pounds so we figured that out and I thought that was going to be impossible and I've always dreamt of being in this body that I'm in right now and I've always wanted clear skin and I know that I suffer from acne and I've tried everything I thought and I just didn't know what to do but somehow some way I figured that out for me and what I needed to do to get clearer skin, right? I've always wanted to work with Gymshark. That was a brand that I started out with in my fitness journey in quarantine when I lived in LA and somehow some way they found me like these are things that i've manifested my dream car was always a black jeep with black rims and black tinted windows black interior i didn't know how i was gonna get that but somehow some way i ended up getting my dream car and paying it off in full y'all know right now i'm currently working to get into my own apartment again and in the beginning i was just like i don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm so far away from where i want to be woo 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 what am I going to do? But we're in the process of figuring it out and getting closer to that goal, hopefully this year. No, this year we're going to do it. We have to speak positive thoughts, right? As if we already have those things that we want. So I think it's really important if you want to be that lucky girl, baby, you have to be clear about what you want. Ask for those things. You know the law of attraction. Three simple steps. Ask, believe, receive, slash, do the work. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You gotta do the work. You can't just sit here and expect all these things to come to you, money to come to you, if you're just sitting up in the bed all day and you don't want to go to work because you don't feel like it. How are you finna get what you want if you can't even work towards that? And I think that we get so in our heads with comparison, as a lot of us do. And we look online at social media and we always think, dang, like that girl's so lucky. Everything just comes to her so easily. She always gets the best thing. She just has this picture perfect lifestyle. No, baby, you don't ever see the struggle. You don't see the discipline that that girl went through to get to where she's at. You don't see all the no's that she got before she got the yeses. You don't see all of the time that went towards whatever it is that she has that you wish that you could have as well so you never really see all the work behind the scenes and i also think for me i noticed like yeah i'm working towards these big goals that i set out for in january like moving out getting out of debt getting more savings and it is a process it doesn't come easily to everybody right unless you just make a bunch of money right like no you can make as much money in the world as i don't know kim kardashian and still be broke if you don't have the skills to manage your finances so i think for me and just showing and opening up about this journey it shows that it's not easy 
and it actually does take a lot of work it like the amount of times i've cried like i just cried the other day in the shower on the floor because i was frustrated you guys i've been tired i've been broken down i've felt a little bit burnt out with just paying bills and paying bills and working so hard just to pay bills that i'm tired of it but these are the hard times that people don't show it's just oh she got that apartment it was so easy for her but no a lot of people don't show the struggle there's something so beautiful about god's timing and just knowing like oh he got it like i just gotta do what i have to do show up for myself every day and it will be here when it's meant for me i can't just get my apartment right now because i didn't learn the lessons of managing my money i would have gotten an apartment but i would have had thirty thousand dollars in debt on top of paying a lot of monthly expenses i would have been drowning i would have been even more depressed like it just wasn't meant for me to have those things until i learned the lessons that i'm in the process of learning for myself so i think it's crucial to understand that hey if we don't get what we want right now it's fine it's not for us right now but trust that it is on its way so in my routine which i showed you guys this morning i practice a lot of gratitude i have my journals that i like to use i have my crystals that help me energetically i use my colored candles as well to help me manifest wealth abundance prosperity health positivity good energy all of those things that i need creativity vitality right and it helps me be aligned with those things that I desire, those things that I dreamed of and work towards them with a positive mindset. You know, they always say like, oh, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? You don't want to wake up on the wrong side of the bed because that means your mindset's messed up. You're not feeling your best for that day. And you already have this tone set that this is the worst day ever. And guess what you're going to get? the worst day ever so you really have to do the work and switch your mindset and not live in sadness negativity and think that these things are amazing i would love them but i'm never gonna get them if you truly think that you're never gonna get those things you're never gonna get those things because that's the energy that you're putting out there there's a lot of power in the tongue you have to be positive about the things that you're trying to attract because that's the whole believing part you have to believe that whatever it is that you want is already here in the present moment. That's why I love to journal. I journal as if I already have my perfect apartment. And you could do entries like what your perfect apartment looks like. What type of flooring does it have? What type of appliances does it have? What type of neighborhood is it surrounded in? You know, is it a two bedroom apartment with high ceilings and floor to ceiling windows and a kitchen island? Does it have a washer and dryer in unit? Does it have a den? I don't know, like you have to kind of be specific and visualize, okay? When you visualize whatever that thing is and then you start to attach a feeling towards it, like i keep using the apartment as an example because that's what i want babe like i really want my freaking apartment and i'm gonna visualize it today with you guys and we're gonna look at couches i want to visualize a couch that i want in my space i'm gonna sit on my couch today i'm gonna feel what the couch feels like i'm gonna visualize my tv mounted on the wall with a beautiful tv console underneath it i'm gonna visualize myself snuggling up on the couch with little lee you have to attach those feelings do you feel comfortable and relaxed you know in that environment do you feel so much love towards a man that you want in your life how do you feel like does he treat you nice and take you out like does he show you a lot of romance and touch and affection you know like do you love the way that he kisses you like you have to be a little bit to lulu if you want to be that lucky girl and actually feel the feels attached to those things like do you want your dream job what does it feel like to wake up and get ready for your dream job? Are you excited on your commute to get there? Do you have amazing coworkers that you enjoy their company? What are those feelings that you're feeling, right? Like what are those feelings that I'm feeling when I finally get those keys in my hand and I'm dangling them and I get to take that picture that is on my Pinterest board? It feels accomplishing, right? It feels like, dang, I really did that. I did what I said I was going to do. So attach those feelings to those things that you want and you're going to get those things in your life because you're already living like you have them. The universe thinks and knows no differently to a thought 
versus reality like i could just be living like i'm waking up and making my coffee in the kitchen i could be making my coffee downstairs but in my mind i'm over here visualizing me doing it in my apartment there's no difference there and that's the part of manifestation and i think people forget to attach the feeling element to it instead of just saying oh i want my apartment but you're also thinking like oh i'm never gonna get it it's too far-fetched for me yeah you're not gonna get it i do this all the time like when i go to the gym <laughs> Because everybody be at the gym, but it's little things like manifesting a good parking space. Like when I get ready to pull up into the gym, I'm like, yes, I imagine myself pulling up, backing into my favorite parking spot. And most of the times, nine times out of 10, it's there for me. It's little things like that, man. And it's crazy. So you just have to be mindful of your thoughts. And it's okay to have negative thoughts, but don't claim them. <laughs> I rebuke it okay that's just a big part of my routine you guys also saw that I like to cleanse my energy with a little bit of Palo Santo and it just again cleanses my aura to really allow me to be more grounded and have a fresh start honestly to like every day I'll cleanse my aura my room my dog <laughs> All the things because you don't know what people wish upon you. You don't know what negative things people want for you. You have to protect your peace. I am a crystal girl. <laughs> I actually need to go wash all my crystals because I was looking at them today. And girl, they were super dusty. So I'm going to do that at some point this week and get them nice and refreshed. But I keep them in this really cute bowl, which I also got from Amazon. I'll try to link that below for you guys too. And I keep a piece of selenite on top because selenite is like self-cleansing and self-charging. So it's just great overall to keep my crystals in um, a nice cleansed state. And then I also keep them in the window because it also charges with the sunlight. So I like to use my crystals when I meditate just to help ground my energy or raise my own vibration. They do pulsate in my hands when I like hold on to them you could say I'm woo 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 do whatever girl but if you know you know crystals hold a lot of natural elements and a lot of natural vibrations I believe there's crystals in our iPhones that actually make the iPhone work like there's actual vibration and energy in these stones and they all hold different properties and different things that we need at different times and they correspond with our chakras so I'll just pick ones sometimes they'll pick me and I'll just reach for the ones that I need the most. If I need to be grounded, I'll go for the darker stones. If I need some communication, some harmony in my life to be more relaxed, I'll go for something blue or something purple. If I really want to go towards something like, I don't know, let's say passion, I'll go for like a red stone or like a garnet crystal, which is like a deep purple, like a sensual seductive stone. Or if I need clarity, I'll go for something clear or white. You can Google, you can get a book, you can do what you want if you're into that. Not everyone is. But meditation on its own with or without crystals is a powerful tool to just get your mind right in the sense of just stopping all your thoughts, being present in this moment right here, right now, blocking out all the noise and silencing your thoughts. If you're someone like me that is an overthinker, you overanalyze everything, you're constantly trying to organize your life and you just keep thinking, 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 how can I do this? How can you do that? meditation if you're feeling scatterbrained you know meditation if you're feeling sadness or you don't even know how you feel you just need to start over meditation you could do guided meditations on youtube you can do self-guided meditations i have a playlist on my spotify called meditation zone i think you guys saw that this morning and i'll link my spotify down below i think a lot of you guys follow it so hopefully you're using it and you don't even have to just do that, but I'll listen to some of those tracks on repeat on a very low volume while I sleep. So my mind is relaxed and there's sleep sound meditations, right? So you can use tools like that in your day-to-day -day routine to help get you more relaxed and calmed and grounded and present in this moment. If you're someone that constantly thinks about the past or you're constantly thinking about the future, then meditation is a great way for you to just become present in this moment. And it's the fact that I'm still trying to do my makeup <laughs> and I've been blabbing for 21 minutes. This is why I can't do get ready with me's and try to be on the vlog talking to you guys because I just get so into it that I forget 
that I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, that's just kind of a little bit of insight on my morning routine and tools that I use and how I kind of just change my mindset <laughs> to work in my favor. And I think the biggest thing is patience. If we're doing all these things, you know, I think that it's going to happen for us again in our timing once we learn those lessons that are needed to get those things that we desire. And again, you really have to just trust God's timing and trust the process. I do use Pinterest as another way, as you guys saw, to visualize. I think it's the easiest way to visualize things. And you can create your own vision board on there. So make a vision board, girl. Like if you need help outlining what your desires are, go on Pinterest, make a vision board make different boards for different goals that you have and maybe put other people doing things that you want i try not to put actual people on my boards though because i want to visualize myself doing those things so if it's a person hopefully like their face isn't in it right their body could be in it but i like to do like a health and fitness board a hair board for like my natural hair journey um, a 2024 vision board with all my goals for my finances and my apartment and what my actual apartment would look like with specific home decor items that I'm going to be spending my money on, right? And then I'll have a board of, I don't know, my health and like my mental, like what that looks like, what books I want to read that align with that, you know, stuff like that. So I think Pinterest can be a really helpful tool that's like social media without the social. So there's less pressure, less anxiety, less comparison, and more inspiration. And that's the difference between Pinterest and Instagram. I feel inspired looking at Pinterest, but I feel depressed sometimes looking at Instagram. That was pretty much it. I did my little routine at like 6 this morning. I was super inspired to share it with you guys and... I think a big part of it sometimes is putting yourself in solitude and sometimes like if you don't even know what you want girl isolate yourself you'll figure it out real quick that's what happened to me like I just became so in tune with who I am and what it is that I want because I'm tired of feeling the ways that I was feeling that I actually wanted to do something about it and change everything so sometimes isolating yourself will allow you to actually be more focused on putting the work behind what we want and you have to sometimes do that you have to say no to things that sound really great in the moment but don't really benefit those goals that we have and work harder again behind the scenes and then that's when you really start to reap the benefits of our dreams and our desires and i think that that's the hard part people don't want to do that we want to have fun and enjoy life, but sometimes we have to take time to be isolated, to do the hard work so that we can get to all the good parts. I'm going to try this blush. This is from Too Faced Cloud Crush Tequila Sunset. It's giving summer vibes. It smells like summer, like the beach. Ooh, she's pigmented. Yeah, she's really pigmented. <laughs> We gotta fake it sometimes till we make it within reason. Yeah, I'm just window shopping. I'm doing this for a few reasons. I've looked at a couple of couches online at this store and there's about three couches, three different sizes at three different price points and I kinda wanna see them in person. Sit on them, see the materials, see the colorways because girl, some of these pieces take months to get and I know that I'm gonna wanna be like 100% sure with what couch I want as whatever furniture I want to get like whether I want to get a custom swatch of material that's going to delay the process than the random stock item maybe I'll like this stock item and it'll be cheaper too you know like I just want to know what it is that I want so as soon as I get my new Addy baby we're ordering our couch and it's coming within like a week two weeks I don't want to like move into a place and i don't get any furniture for months because everything is back ordered so i also told you guys earlier like in this year in random vlogs like i'm definitely looking at home decor i'm looking at furniture pieces home essentials 
what stores I like, what styles I like, what my color palette is, what my theme is gonna be, whatever my home decor style is, cause girl, I don't know, it's gonna be very different from my last five apartments. Isn't that crazy? Like I've had five different apartments in LA and it was basically the same furniture from place to place for the most part. And I just want to do everything completely different and just start over and furnish a whole new space. So yes, it's gonna be expensive, which means I wanna know what I wanna get so I can properly make a moving budget so I know what my um, savings should look like and what I'm comfortable spending for the living room and to furnish the bedroom and the appliances and all that type of stuff. So it's gonna be interesting over these next the next year, the rest of this year, what is it, six months left? Which isn't really that much time and because furniture is such an investment, like I need to know 100%, like this is the couch for me. Like this is the bed for me. This is the dresser and nightstand set that I want because I want it to last and at the end of the day, like this is my big girl apartment. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm not gonna get anything from Target or Ikea. There's definitely some things on my wish list from those places, but when it comes down to like, the quality of stuff like I don't want compressed wood anything I don't want manufactured wood you know the compressed sawdust which is what Ikea furniture is and Target stuff I want solid wood furniture if it's gonna be a wood piece like I want to be able to keep the item and not have it get wonky or just feel cheap and if that means like okay we need to save a little bit more okay cool then we're gonna do that and we're gonna budget that in maybe I'll sacrifice for a less expensive I don't know chairs you know just so I can have a nice quality mattress that's comfortable and you know a nice quality dresser bedroom set that actually holds up from move to move if I happen to do that you know like the Ikea stuff was cute when I was in my 20s and it got the job done it lasted through like some of those pieces lasted through my five apartments and moving them right and um, it was affordable to do that when you had to furnish something all at one time right but I also don't want to be in a rush to feel like oh like when I move out like I need to get everything all at once like one I want to know for sure what it is that I want to get and that might take me time to fill out this space you know and decor isn't a priority maybe I need the basics I need the essentials so we're gonna focus on that first and take our time with the process but I need to like look at different stores look at what's in my budget can I find a dupe of something that I really like that's more luxury you know what are the reviews like and I think that I won't make a bad decision buying something and like regret it especially if it's expensive if it's really not my style or it doesn't like go with other pieces like I want to make sure everything flows and I feel like I'll probably do another video when I get closer to like making my actual budget in a couple of months from now. But for now, we're talking about manifestation. And if you wanna do that, you need to align yourself with where you wanna be. I wanna be buying my furniture basically now. <laughs> so I'm gonna put myself in those places and you guys should do that too. Put yourselves in those spaces that you want to be in. Whether you wanna move, go hang out in those neighborhoods. Do you want a man? Get on an app or ask your friends for mutuals that might be single. Do you wanna make girlfriends in your 30s? Like open up your mouth and start speaking to people don't walk around with a resting bee face and just expect people to come to you if you want to travel more book a little trip you know it doesn't have to be something crazy maybe do a staycation somewhere or visit an area in your city that you've never been to before like that's still traveling and discovering new things you know like you can apply it where it fits and it doesn't have to be something that breaks the bank to do it in the process like i'm gonna go up in here and look at some furniture and feel the feels and I'm not gonna spend a dime you have to get excited about where you're at right now in order to be at your dreams and your desires to really get those things that we want to get so that's what I'm about to do and I think I'm gonna take my vlog not my vlog because I don't want to be weird I'm by myself <laughs> if my mom was in me or something then yeah cool I would vlog on the camera but it's just me so i'm gonna take my phone and vlog on there and hopefully i can find the couches here more importantly i want to know like the swatches it's really hard to see these things online and luckily i was looking at like some of the stock couches that i like i could get it shipped within like a week so imagine how nice that would be i'm hoping i like the cheaper one <laughs> That means I can move sooner. But yeah, the couch is the most expensive thing on my budget. And then 
the dresser and nightstands that I want are also the next expensive things. And I haven't even factored in delivery fees and taxes. We have to count that in too. So I'm still like looking and seeing what I like and what would go because I know what bed I want. Look, I know everything that I want aside from the couch, the specific couch and the specific like dresser nightstand sets. Everything else I've picked out, you guys. I have the links saved, I have the pictures, I have the prices budgeted. So I figured this would be nice to be able to actually have a set number of a budget for me to stay in for the moving process. And you know what, it's gonna take time. Like moving for me is a process and if looking at furniture is that little bit of enjoyment and motivation to keep working towards paying off my debt so I can start saving for my move, then we're gonna do that. We're gonna look at all these furniture places. And I low key wanna go to Ikea, not today, but there's some really good pieces and finds from Ikea. And I wanted to do like an Ikea shop with me and show you guys like all the pieces that I might get. Or I can do a video like, I don't know, I keep thinking about video ideas. Like all the things like home decor wise that I like but didn't get, just so I can show you like what styles I'm into. I don't know, I'm just so intrigued about the whole home decor and I cannot wait to start doing that when my vlogs turn into like apartment hunting and like moving diaries and home decor and styling and organization and decluttering. Like I am so excited for that chapter on my channel. So we're gonna use that as motivation to push through these next two and a half months. All right, so let's go up in here. And see what Value City has because they say that they're like designer, but on a budget and maybe that's me. <laughs> I just had this thought, wouldn't it be nice to move around a major holiday? Because like they're doing, I guess they're last in a memorial sale. But that would really play into my budget perfectly. Because majority of the things that I would want would be on sale. So I need to plan around that. Okay, maybe Black Friday. But that would be a headache to get stuff shipped. I don't know, I just thought about that. Like move on a budget move around a holiday <laughs> let me know if i should do that i didn't even consider i did not consider that because when i was making my budget i was putting full price items obviously i didn't even consider oh like november i've never moved in november i've always moved in april so moving in november would be interesting i just don't want to be moving around christmas because i want to decorate for christmas i don't want to have like i don't know i want to enjoy my decor i want to like actually vlog like vlogmas in a new place but again not me putting my foot in my mouth <laughs>
was my dream couch, but now it's not comfortable at all. Girl. And it was the most expensive one. This is not it. This is like... The reviews said it pills a lot. But it's so low to the ground. But it's... I don't know. It's the most expensive. About this one this one is also low profile it was on the cheaper end of my budget and it's boucle <laughs> top three picks they're so not what I expected <laughs> I'm actually glad I did this because my most expensive one there's other cushions that come with it that I would have preferred with more structure but I haven't seen it yet so let's see <laughs> So this is the cushion, but it's more structured. Ooh, that's so much better.
Now I'm in there acting like I got money to spend. That was so much fun. First of all, this sales associate was super nice and gave me some tips so I could just shop alone, which is what I love shopping by myself. Got to vlog. Ugh. Can't mess up the Jimmy. I love this Jib Shark. Um, everywhere collection. So good. Code Lache to save. But guys, I ended up seeing all the couches that are on my wish list. And I was very disappointed. I was ready to be like, oh my god, we gotta start over. What am I gonna do? And I didn't realize that the couch that I really like, I don't know if I should spoil it in this video and y'all just gonna have to stay tuned for the next six months to find out what we do. But girl, that cloud couch dupe was like my top priority. <laughs> and it is not comfortable. Like the cushions are down. And first of all, y'all saw when I sat on it, it like deflates and then it leaves your imprint. So you're going to have to constantly keep fluffing, which I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more plush and like squishy because I felt like I was just sitting on something hard, which was the layer underneath. And I was really upset. Like that was like my most expensive uh, option. And it came in a bunch of different pieces. It's a modular, so you could literally break it down however you want. And I would have just gotten like a standard like three piece. And I was like, no, not with those cushions. And the down feather, because I'm looking at it on here. And first of all, the website looks completely different with their stock swatch compared to in real life. Online it looks very yellow gray and light. In real life it looks like white, like an off-white. So it's on sale right now, but that couch was $26.99 for the three piece. It's not worth $26.99 because it was not giving comfort and cloud. Like, I don't know. It would just annoy me. So let me show you the second piece, which was the second time I tried it because I found there was another piece with the more structured cushions, which is honestly my preference. It looks more put together. It doesn't leave your butt imprint on the cushions. It's $22.19 full price. And right now they're doing a sale. So I can imagine if I moved around Black Friday, I would get a sale price. $19.97, under $2,000. Add a little bit of tax, add a little bit for the delivery fee, which is like $2.30. That's under budget, baby. Yeah, so I really liked that I got to try it out in person. I got to see the actual color of the stock in person because I wasn't obsessed with it online. They need to fix that. And then the other option was that boucle couch, which was the cheaper option. They didn't have the piece that I would want in stock, but at least I got to feel the fabric. And the one that I would have gotten is $1,099. Um, first of all, that one was very low to the ground. I like the boucle, and I want something boucle in my apartment. I don't want a whole apartment of boucle stuff. So I think I can just do something boucle in something else not my couch i don't know with having a dog and stuff i just imagine it would look a little bit dingy i don't know over time but the sale price was 989 dollars i'm like that's a steal so that was a cheaper option and it was about it was smaller but it still looked big so i don't know and then my other option was did i get a vlog of it I showed the prices oh my god the first one I saw it was so deep like that's what she said but it was like almost too big like you could cuddle up and snuggle up in that couch and it was $17.99 so it was like right in the middle of the price points sale price like $16.19 around that range I don't know it also had like ottomans that you could add to it but i think for an apartment realistically speaking you're not gonna have that much floor space I, again depending on the layout i think once i actually get a, a unit and a lease and i'm actually able to envision and measure what would fit the space that would be perfect i also didn't get to really sit on that one because it had the ottomans and it just looked very uncomfortable for me to be up in that man store climbing on furniture <laughs> at my grown age um but a lot of these couches, majority of, actually all of them are low profile and I have extremely long thighs. So it could be a little bit uncomfortable to like get on and off of the couch. Specifically the cloud couch dupe, cause there's no structure to that. I think in my head it looks good, 
and I've always dreamed of having that couch or a couch like a cloud couch but it's gonna make the apartment look a mess like I already know Libra is gonna be leaving his body imprint on it it's just probably gonna have more wear and tear some people love it some people hate it in the reviews and I think if you're willing to because it's down feather also don't know about allergy wise like if I'm allergic to that or not um I just don't think that's the option for me like I don't want to spend most of my life fluffing a couch but I'm so happy I got to do this today I had a lot of fun taking my time just walking around visualizing feeling the materials feeling myself lounging in my own space and I definitely think that if you guys are trying to do something go visualize go out and do that thing you know what I'm saying like it cannot hurt to try and it's actually a lot of fun so that was my uh, activity for the day and I got things to do girl so I'm probably gonna end this vlog somewhere soon or I'll pop back in later on tonight but yeah do you guys like content like this or should I just save it until we're ready to move am I like jumping too soon <laughs> I don't know y'all can let me know but that was like really fun to take you guys with me Maybe y'all can let me know what y'all think about those couches if you have any of them. How's the wear and tear? What style do you guys like they had a lot of swatches, but ideally I would prefer to get something that they have in stock So I don't have to wait two months for it when I'm ready to place my order But I think I know which one I'm going to budget in for the pricing of my moving budget and that's amazing. I love that for me. I'm hopeful now. I'm very hopeful.